Welcome back to Coffee and Cocktails. As always, my name is Thomas. And today, we're trying some rum. Let's get into it. So I got this bottle from Cosmo Rum. Thank you guys for sending this. It is a small batch, aged seven years. Um, I'm excited to try it out. I don't know too much about rum itself, so I'm super excited to try this straight and also make a couple different cocktails with it. So without further ado, let's try some rum. So before we make some cocktails with it, um, I wanna try it up straight. I wanna be able to get those notes and then flavors from it before we add in lime or Aperol or grapefruit or any other ingredients. Um, so let's try it straight and then we'll make a daiquiri and a manila bay. So on the smell, I get pineapple, very fruity, kind of, kind of floral, really tropical as with any rum, so. I get some bananas. Um, that's a really nice, not super pungent. Yeah, I get kind of bubble gum, bananas, a little bit of pineapple. That's gonna be really good. So with that, let's make a Manila Bay. So if you go to Cosmo's website, uh, CosmoRum.com, they have a bunch of different recipes you can choose from to try out. So today we're gonna try my take on the Manila Bay cocktail. On their website, they have it as herbal flavors that are fused together uh, to create this light cocktail that is refreshing and aromatic, hence the Aperol Chartreuse um, and the lime juice to really freshen it out. So their recipe for the Manila Bay calls for one ounce of the Cosma rum, one ounce of pineapple sage infused Aperol, and one ounce of yellow Chartreuse with one ounce fresh lime juice. So I'm doing a little spin on that because I don't have yellow chartreuse, I know they're different, but we're gonna try it with green chartreuse. And instead of infusing with pineapple, because that takes a long time, we're just gonna do normal Aperol, a little bit of lime juice, and I'm gonna add some grapefruit juice actually in there as well to kind of brighten the whole thing up and give a little bit of a tang to it. So without further ado, let's make my take on the Manila Bay. So we're gonna start out with one ounce of lime juice. One ounce of green chartreuse. One ounce of Aperol. I'm gonna do a half ounce of grapefruit juice. Just to bring some tartness to the cocktail, kind of balancing out the uh, bitterness of the chartreuse. And then we're gonna have one ounce of our Cosmo rum. Add some crushed ice to this and shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Pour our cocktail in. Then we're going to strain into a rocks glass. And then garnish with the lime wheel. So we're going to cut a lime. A little slice. And right on the edge. So there you have my take of the Manila Bay. Cheers, everybody. That is great. So the Aperol isn't as bitter as like your Campari, but it still has that um, Italian aperitif that you kind of associate with a Campari, but not as bitter, which is super great. Um, I think infusing that with pineapple um, would be super cool. I wanna try that. Um, I have this bottle reserved for some other Aperol stuff I wanna do for the springtime as we enter. So. If you have extra Aperol and you want to infuse that, by all means, try it. I think it would be really, really good. Um, 
Overall, I think the grapefruit juice was a nice addition because it does kind of add a nice bitterness to it that I really do enjoy. So this is a very light and refreshing cocktail. Um, great for the springtime, for the summertime as we enter those warmer months. So herbal and aromatic. Thank you Cosmo Rum for a great cocktail, the Manila Bay. Cheers. So I don't think you can do a rum cocktail video without mentioning the daiquiri. So a little bit of the history of the daiquiri is that supposedly it was invented in 1898 in the town of Daiquiri at the southernmost tip of Cuba by an American mining engineer named Jennings Cox. It was introduced in the United States a whole decade later when the US Naval Medical Officer brought a recipe from Cuba to Washington, DC. This simple three ingredient cocktail has influenced and pleased millions of palates over the ensuing years, including Ernest Hemingway and President JFK. Now the daiquiri has kind of evolutionized throughout the cocktail renaissance and as bar scenes have kind of taken it by storm, um, most people too often associate the daiquiri with kind of neon colored adult slushies when actuality it's not meant for spring breaks and blackouts. It's meant for cocktail clubs and, and really nuanced rum cocktails. But in its purest form, a daiquiri is a beautiful, perfect, simple blend of rum, their sweetness, with the freshness of sugar and lime. So with that, you have many different variations of a daiquiri with light rum to white rum to dark rum to overproved 151 rum. But we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do two ounces of a light rum. We're gonna do one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice and three quarter ounce of a rich demerara syrup. Garnish with a lime twist and serve it in a chilled coupe glass. Keeping it simple for you guys. So let's make a daiquiri. So starting off, let's do one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Next, we have three quarter ounce of a rich demerara syrup. And then two ounces of our Cosmo rum. We're going to fill our shaker tin with ice and shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Pop our lid on. Then we're going to strain into a chilled coupe glass. So I have these small wine glasses that are kind of a hybrid between a nice big uh, red wine glass and a coupe glass. So I'm trying to use these as much as possible. I also broke uh, my last coupe glass in the uh, dishwasher. So that's super fun. So we're gonna strain that into this glass here. Then we're going to garnish with just a twist of lime. Just want to express that over the top. Give it a little bit of twist and then drop it in. Again, a shorter glass might be best for this, but we have what we have. So here's a daiquiri. Cheers, everybody. Beautifully balanced has those hints of coconut, hints of banana, um, just showcases the uh, simplicity of a rum um, and that rich demerara syrup kind of gives it a roundness that is absolutely delightful. Thanks again Cosmo Rum for sending me this bottle and allowing me to try such great explorations of rum. So cheers to you and cheers to warmer weather so you can make some beautiful daiquiris and wonderful rum cocktails. So super new to the YouTube game. Not once have I ever asked you guys to like or comment or subscribe. I guess this is my first time. If you guys feel obliged and you like the content here, please leave a like and a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get these out on a weekly basis. So stay tuned for more cocktails, for more albums, some coffee recipes that are in the works.
Thank you guys for following along. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.